What's up Mets fans? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are continuing the discussion for the New York Mets and their approach to the MLB offseason. Specifically, how are they going to handle their upcoming free agents? Would guys like Javi Baez, Noah Syndergaard, Michael Conforto that we've discussed in separate videos, make sure to check them all out in the description down below if you haven't already. That same question now lies for potentially the tallest task to re-sign this offseason. That is, of course, a Marcus Stroman. So should the Mets, in fact, re-sign Marcus? Was the interest or the likelihood from the Mets side of things? Same thing can be said for Marcus Stroman's side. How has he performed? in Queens at this point and what kind of contract are we potentially looking at and so much more that's what I'll be breaking down in today's video so as always guys make sure you stay all the way till the end of it follow the and all my thoughts on Marcus Stroman his game with the Mets and what the likelihood is or the lack thereof of him staying in Queens as always folks if you ended up enjoying this kind of Mets content and you want to see more great Mets content like this please do not hesitate from smashing that like and subscribe on sharing this video with your friends on the notification bell all those great things thank you so much for the continued support folks without further ado let's jump right into today's video after opting out of the short pandemic season a year ago, 30-year-old starting pitcher for the New York Mets and Marcus Stroman took the league by storm here in 2021, proving to be the most reliable pitcher in Queens for the entirety of the season. Between DeGrom's unfortunate short year to the endless inconsistencies down the stretch to guys like Taiwan Walker, Cookie Carrasco, Tyler McGill to name a few, Stro proved to be the clear backbone in this Mets rotation. And Marcus posted a career-best 3.02 ERA, which was just one of the numerous statistics he was first in with the club, along with others including wins at 10, innings pitched at 179, strikeouts at 158, whip at 1.15, and opposing batting average at .242. And having already spent seven seasons in the bigs, Stroh is now entering a free agent class as one of the safest bets on what you're getting every fifth day. And to expand further on just how good of a 2021 season Marcus Stroman had, take a look at some numbers here through fan graphs on how he shaped up with all the qualified starters available in the MLB this season. As you see, his innings pitch at 179 was 22nd best in all the league. His ERA at 3.02 was 9th best in the league. 3.95 SI ERA, Siri ERA, as people like to call it as well, 23rd best. Whip at 1.15 was 20th best. 3.49 FIP, which was 17th best. 0.85 home runs per nine innings was 9th best. And 6.0% of walks percentage was 17th best. And 75.5% of left on base percentage was 19th best in all baseball among starters. Simply put, if the Mets don't at least put an effort to try to re-sign Marcus Stroman, it would be awfully foolish on their part unless that is the exception of them, say, acquiring a pitcher that's better or younger with a higher ceiling through trade or maybe going down a different route in free agency because there are a lot of uh, pitching names out there, including guys like Kevin Gosman, who profiles very similarly to a guy like Marcus Stroman. You have other guys that are bigger names but are, you know, towards the twilight of their career, even if they're performing well. Guys like Max Scherzer, you have Zach Greinke, Justin Verlander coming off of Tommy John surgery to name a few and also Clayton Kershaw the southpaw for the Dodgers obviously there are a lot of pitchers out there on this market and it's going to be awfully interesting to see how not just the Mets but every team approaches the free agent market with the pitchers upcoming but still the Mets knowing what they've gone out of Marcus at this point a career right around 3.2 a year rare or so during this time in Queens has been awfully impressive enough and to see him come back from not pitching at all in 2020 to stay healthy basically the entire of the year for the most part in 2021 when everything else has gone wrong you have to give credit where credit's due here and Marcus Stroman say what you will about who he is say as a person if you like or dislike his personality as we know he's very outspoken he's very involved on social media regardless of what your stance is on that I'm going to ask you to push that aside when talking about the significance of Stroman in this rotation here because I frankly do not care to a certain extent how you are personality wise things like that as long as you are not impacting the team negatively and you're impacting them positively that is what I care about from the players on my roster as a fan of the New York Mets and I hope that is the same with you guys watching this but Marcus again is someone that is going to be highly coveted going into free agency there's been a lot of teams that have been rumored to show connections to him that would be interested including teams like oh the San Diego Padres the Chicago Cubs the Toronto Blue Jays to name a few and a lot more teams are going to be showing 
interest. And that only means so much. What matters is, can the Mets actually get a deal done with Stroman? And what is his interest in returning to the Mets? Well, what we've seen from Marcus Stroman, from what I have gathered from evaluating him and how he has done his pressers and all the comments he's made, he seems like he's thoroughly enjoying his time in Queens. As we know, he's originally from NOI, so he gets to have a lot of his family and attendance for these games too. But more than anything, Marcus is going to get what he rightfully deserves. He's looking for the bag and free agency and rightfully so. This will be his one and big payday more than likely in his career. He's not going to get a payday anything like this way he's getting now, and that's for anyone that's having a career best year and their walk year in free agency. So Marcus betted on himself going into the season in which he took the qualifying offer from the Mets at just over $18 million, just shy of $19 million actually. He betted on himself, had a career season, and now he's looking for a big payday. And what the reports are indicating, the rumored interest from him on the contract he would like is in a, is a assumed six year years at 25 million dollars per year so that's a lot of money but let's look at the Mets side of things here and are will they be willing to go to 25 over six personally I haven't seen anything to indicate that they will for certain do that especially because we don't necessarily know how one president baseball operations and or GM is going to approach the offseason for the Mets versus say others they have these hires that they need to figure out so it's still very uncertain on exactly the kind of dollars they'll be working on and the interest the Mets will actually have until they get these people hired so that's why we will be discussing that further when there's more information out there but for now what was a great breakdown that actually came out earlier today which was perfect timing for this video it wasn't intentional was a breakdown from tim brin who covers the mets through the athletic make sure to check this piece out guys if you haven't already there is a paywall but trust me it's worthwhile still tim really broke down what kind of market we could see for marcus stroman and he felt it is a safe bet around four years at 18 to 21 million dollars that you'll be looking at and really looking like the potential peak at five years at 100 five million dollars which would ultimately be right around 21 mil per year aav now that's something that i don't see marcus stroman taking personally but you also have to look at the market as a whole is marcus going to be able to get north of at least 25 million over five six years versus the other starting pitching talents out there how desperate are teams going to be in trying to inquire on him are they going to be able to overpay to the likelihood that's going to fit his needs and really go to the highest bidder that's all potential and we know how free agency works anything goes there's always Always guys that get overpaid that's how the free agent market usually goes every single year in baseball let alone throughout all sports for that matter but going back to the Mets approach here should they in fact resign him yes they should they should do absolutely all they can to make it happen because if you lose Marcus Stroman and you do not fill that hole in your rotation to the same significance or at least similar then you're going to have a regression next season when this is a guy that's young is durable and has proven to be able to handle a full season the way he did after not pitching there prior that in my mind is telling that Marcus yes I wouldn't love per se a six-year deal because that's something that usually isn't necessarily going to work out to the benefit of the team every single year but the same goes for any long-term deal so personally for me I would love Marcus Stroman back on the Mets I think the Mets need to prioritize him for sure as free agency approaches but they also have to make sure that if they do for whatever reason part ways with Marcus don't come to agreement maybe it's more so on Marcus's side than it is on the Mets trying to get a deal done that they at least do the justice of replacing Placing him with someone that's either of equal value, younger, with more promising potential going for the years down the road, with him still being decent already, and all these other factors. So it's going to be very curious how the Mets evaluate the future of Marcus Stroman, but no less, they absolutely should try their best to lock him up. And really, I only, I truly don't see Marcus staying with the Mets in this scenario that, you know, he really wants to go for by far the highest bidder. Are the Mets going to be the highest bidder when they have priorities elsewhere, potentially with guys? Uh, on the roster when it comes to adding more bats parting ways with other guys and playing in big contracts that are in position players I simply don't know. We don't know, but we will find out soon enough, and I'm looking forward to it. So, Mets fans, let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. How do you feel about Marcus Stroman? Do you believe the Mets should re-sign him? What do you think the likelihood is here? And as always, guys, if you ended up enjoying this kind of Mets content and you want to see more great Mets co content like this, do not hesitate from smashing that like and subscribe on sharing this video with your friends on the notification bell. Always great things. Thank you all so much for the continued support, folks. We have a lot more great content coming out throughout the offseason and throughout the week, for that matter. So, stay tuned for that, but make sure let me know your thoughts in the comments below on Marcus Stroman if you think he should be resigned. Do you like it? Do you not like it? All that fun stuff. Let me know and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Let's go Mets, baby.